Traveling the country by RV can get a little stressful at times. In Sheridan, one of the best ways to relax is to set out for the streams and try your hand at fly fishing. Well, we're in actually northern Wyoming, north central Wyoming. We're right beneath the, the Bighorn Mountains. We're on one of the uh, freestone trout streams that flow out of that mountain range. Everything about the location is natural and untamed. From the flowers and grasses that grow streamside to the majestic mountains where the waters originate. Well, it comes from the mountain peaks. It's mostly from snow melt. A smaller portion of it from, from mountain springs. Trout are plentiful in this area, and there are a wide variety to be caught. The rainbow and brown trout still grow to trophy size in the prairie meadow waters. There's a simple explanation for the sheer number and size of fish you'll find here. Uh, we don't kill any fish intentionally. Uh, the fish that are killed here mostly uh, uh, die of old age or, or, or some other predator. You know, we have mink are probably the worst predator we have here. Uh, uh, hawks, eagles, uh, that sort of thing are predatory. Tom, like most experienced anglers, believes that by taking a non-threatening approach, Mother Nature rewards him with solitude and dazzling sights all around. This is the way to get away from it all. And, and of course, the clients we have out here, uh, of course, they like catching fish. That's, uh, that's, that's good, too. But just the experience of being out away from it all and, and people that live around just other people in concrete for... Uh, for most of the year, really, really enjoy coming out here for whatever, a day or a week or, or longer. Tom really believes in getting away from it all. So when you hire him or one of his guides, they make an unusual guarantee that you will not even see another angler. Now, as far as catching a fish, he can't make any promises. Well, very rarely anybody doesn't catch anything. It's, uh, and, uh, you know, a good angler could expect to, to hook uh, 20, 30, 40 fish or more a day. And if you're trying fly fishing for the first time, they'll even supply your gear. Yeah, we provide lunch and transportation. Basically, they, uh, most people like to use their own equipment, but if they don't have it, we provide that. Wow, now that's one-stop shopping. By finding an outfitter like Fly Shop of the Big Horns, it doesn't even matter if you don't have a rod on board your RV. Tom's company offers a wide range of excursions and equipment to fit your needs. They also have experienced anglers to help you out. Well, we do uh, uh, guided fishing trips, uh, mostly in the fall winter. We do some guided uh, wing shooting, upland birds and waterfowl. Uh, our fishing trips uh, run from uh, late March through uh, early November. One of the trips that's gaining popularity is the ladies only outing. It's no wonder that with the picturesque scenery and the calming casting, these trips are enjoyed by all.